Welcome. Welcome to Creating Your Self-Love Lifestyle. I'm Marcy Newman, your host and also known as the Heart Shift Coach. And today we're talking about a very, very important subject that is rarely spoken of. And that is the power of reflection. Now, so often we hear, uh, particularly when we're talking about personal transformation, how important it is that we dive deep and do shadow work and pull up everything from the past to make certain that it's not influencing your future. Uh, there are many different aspects of that, but I come from a little bit of a different school in terms of what I have found. This is both personally as well as with clients that I've now worked with all around the world. And that is that when it comes to creating a new life, a new adventure, a new experience, in truth, we do not need to go into those deep, dark spaces and pull out what's in those shadows. And the reason I'm saying that is this. What I've come to recognize is because we are creators. New life begins every nanosecond that we choose it to. So imagine, for instance, just imagine for this moment that you are a creator god, a creator goddess, and you have been let loose, set free to create anything that you want. And this power um, has been bestowed upon you, not because you have reached some sort of uh, acclaim or educational level, but it's bestowed upon you as part of your essence. In fact, it's your entire essence. You are a creator and you are a god or goddess that has been given free reign to create. Now, pull, pull that in, right? Take that little bit of information and just take a few deep breaths into that possibility. At what point would a god or goddess who knows their purpose is to create first start rummaging through the dungeons? I believe none. Which part or time would that god or goddess say, oh no, before I create anything, I've got to go back through all those lifetimes and pull out anything that may end up showing up at the last minute and sabotaging me? Mm, probably not ever. Which god or goddess would say, oh no, I cannot show up for work today. I had a dream, and in that dream, I was this, 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 and this, and so I have got to make certain that all that energy is cleared out before I do anything. Probably none. So why am I saying this to you? Because you are a god or goddess a creative genius, and your creative genius is part of your DNA. It is structured within you. And the only thing that stands in the way of you utilizing that full potential is the belief that you cannot until you become something else something other than what you are. In truth, we could never pull out from every single lifetime all of the dense energies that have affected us. And in fact, I would say that it's not even something that you want to do. And that is because all of us are all things. Those experiences have molded us 
the experiences from past lives or whether it was from when you were four or five. In other words, it's not the experience, it's the interpretation of it that messes us up. It sort of creates this world of amnesia where we forget who we really are. And so what I want to say to you today is that a true act of self-love is this acceptance that you don't have to turn yourself inside out. You don't have to dig deep into those shadows and bring all of that to the surface. But what you can do is utilize an energy and a practice of reflection simply to determine perhaps where you lost your way. But to do so without guilt or shame or blame of any kind. Just to see where you could make another decision. Because every decision that you make has a particular trajectory. And that trajectory is what either takes you further from where you want to be or closer. So when we're looking to create something new, you don't need to become anything other than what you are. You simply need to remember who you are. There is no god or goddess anywhere that would first believe that they have to dig in the trenches to pull out everything that they've ever experienced, even the things that have traumatized them, because it's all in the past. It's gone. The only energy that is remaining is the energy that you keep feeding it and interpreting as evidence that you're somehow damaged or not enough or not worthy. This is a hard concept, I think, for all of us, but it's a concept we must start to accept because until we do, we don't step into our truth. We don't step into our possibilities and certainly not into our God or goddessness. And in fact, I think you would agree with me that that's exactly what the world needs right now. So from here on in, my recommendation to you is, is that whenever you have this tendency to go into a downward spiral and damn yourself because you somehow have screwed up yet again, and it must mean that you are the worst ever or perhaps that you've been victimized or that you are in some way meant to be a martyr for others, I want you to just take a moment and reflect on that belief and ask yourself, is it true? Is it true? Because I can tell you this, the perspective of a god or goddess knows exactly what they're doing here. They're here to experience life. And they're here to expand through that experience. And so the expansion comes from reminding ourselves over and over and over again that we are divine beings, creative energies that are here to create more and more in the energy of love. So I'm going to leave that with you and I'm going to um, leave this affirmation. I am. I'm all that I need to be. I have within me all that I need in order to create everything that my heart desires. Yeah. Now breathe into that one, will you? And let me know how it goes. Remember, please, to like this video, to leave a comment or a question, and of course, to subscribe and share. 
the more people that come together with like minds and like hearts and remember that they are creators, well, we get to create a brand new world, a world that is here to nurture and nourish everything that's for the highest good of all. And I think that's what we all deserve, don't you? Alrighty, so much love, and I'll see you again next week.